Turning our attention to the domestic political arena now, the National Assembly was in a state of paralysis for a fifth straight day, mainly because the ruling Senator Party has been and still is boycotting all parliamentary business until the Assembly Speaker steps down from his post. But according to our Chim Young Gil, there could be a thin glimmer of hope for a breakthrough. The ruling Senduri Party opened the door to talks with the opposition parties on Friday. Floor leader Cheng Jin Sok said he is willing to enter into negotiations with the floor leaders of the two opposition parties, but only if they acknowledge that Assembly Speaker Cheng Se-gyun violated parliamentary law. If the floor leaders of the three parties were to meet, we would have to start talking about how to require the Assembly Speaker to observe political neutrality and abide by the Constitution and parliamentary law. The current parliamentary law does not include specific rules on neutrality, except that the Speaker is not allowed to be affiliated with any party while in the post. The ruling party says Assembly Speaker Chong abandoned his neutrality by helping the opposition parties pass a dismissal motion last week for the sitting agriculture minister. President Park Geun-hye reportedly ordered Henry's chair Lee jong yeon to end the hunger strike, ongoing since Monday, but Lee refused. On the other side of the aisle, the main opposition Minju Party of Korea called on the ruling party to end its boycott immediately, so parliament can get back to normal. We urge the Senuri Party to end its boycott and return to the audit. When it comes to people's livelihoods, there cannot be a ruling or opposition party. The Minju Party will carry on with the audit. The minor opposition People's Party said this time the ruling party has gone too far after the ruling party filed petitions against the Assembly Speaker to the Constitutional Court and the prosecution. The ruling party chair is continuing his hunger strike, and the party has even filed charges against the assembly speaker. This is just not right. Park also said it is time for Assembly Speaker Chong to express some kind of regret for the current parliamentary impasse, and that he should try to talk with the ruling party. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.